hello guys this is santosh and welcome to tech design so in this video i am going to show you how to create a datum plane in nx23 version so there is always many number of ways to create a point and datum plane and axis i will try it my level best to get all the situation to create different kinds of these features so this is going to be a model as you can see here this is going to be our model uh, in which I am going to show you how we can create uh, different kinds of uh, datum planes. Okay, so now as you can see here, this is the first command datum plane. So suppose if you are already selected uh, like this, and if you hit the cancel, you can see uh, datum axis will be visible. So you can just go to drop down and select this datum plane. Okay, so once you select a datum plane, you can see here import is the option that comes. So this is going to be our uh, first drop down here so inferred is nothing but you can able to select a line or any curve or arcs or you can also select a point or you can also select a faces from any model so using these options it can able to create a datum plane so now you can see here datum plane is selected and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select a point here so once the point is selected so a datum plane will be created suppose in in this case suppose if i select this plane so the play around that plane uh datum plane will be created but if you want to give a distance you can just give the distance here so okay 50 mm there is a distance so inferred is option uh, so it is so it include all the features of these particular uh, information because if you want an on a curve so you can just go to here and select this curve so on that curve you know datum plane will be created so when this datum plane is created you can you will have a location option you can see here location so the way how we have created a point right so in the same way we have arc length and percentage of arc so depending on your requirement uh, so you can just provide an input and create a datum plane so this is going to be inferred so it's a combination of all other things okay so now we can go to the next option at distance so as the name suggests it is at a distance with any reference so for reference you can give already existing datum plane or datum coordinate system or you can also give any face from the feature say for example i am going to give this as a reference so this is going to be my reference so from this face if you want any distance so you can just hit here okay so if you want it in a other direction so you can just give it as a reverse direction so it is going to create a reverse direction and suppose if you want it in many numbers at 100 mm distance if you want it many numbers say for example five numbers so you can just give five numbers and you will have all the five datum planes but for every datum plane there will be a distance of 100 mm distance okay so now let me click apply and now what i'm going to do is i'll just go to next option at angle so here at angle as the name suggested it is with some angle so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to here and i'll switch on this datum coordinate system okay so you can see here here is the datum plane at angle so with some so you are going to create a datum plane with some angle so for that we need to provide one planar reference either the, this planar reference again it may be any face or datum plane or datum coordinate axis so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this face as a datum reference okay plane reference so now i need to give a axis along which it should rotate so i'm going to give it as a z axis so now you can see here it is exactly at 90 degree angle so reference we have given this and angle we have given this so it has been rotated to 90 degree and it has been created a datum plane suppose if you don't want to create it at any angle suppose if you want to give it a zero so you can see here it will be exactly parallel to the reference plane which we have selected so this is going to be our reference plane and this is the one which is created suppose if you need at 50 degrees so you can just enter the 15 degree and you can see it is measured along this direction suppose if you want it in an other direction you can just give the negative 15 degree okay so it will come on from this direction so this is going to be along angle and in this option also suppose if you want to make perpendicular or parallel to the planar reference whatever you are given so in that case you can just go to here perpendicular so it will be perpendicular to this planar reference and if you want a parallel you can just go to parallel okay so in this options also we have offset suppose if you need any offset plane from this particular angle so you can just go to offset here and you can just enter 50 mm 
so at 50 mm offset you can see here from 50 mm of offset or 65 mm offset there will be a plane created okay so now i'll just click okay you can see this is the plane we have got so now there is be a next option which is bisector so bisector so bisector is nothing but it is a midpoint of two plane okay say for example i want to select this face and this face between these two faces at exactly at 50 percent there will be one more plane created so now i'll just go to bisector and this plane i'm going to select and this plane i'm going to select so between these two there will be a plane created since we already have an offset of 65 from that midpoint there will be a 65 mm distance so i'm now i don't want this i'll just switch off this and now we can see exactly at the midpoint there will be a datum plane created okay so now you can just click apply now we'll go to curves and point okay so here we need to provide a curve and point so i'm going to give this curve so you can see here this point i'm going to give so once I give this point, you can see, um, you know, datum term will be created. Suppose if you want to provide one point, so you can just give this one point and it will create a particular datum plane. And there are multiple options here, two points using three points. So these things point and curve, you can see here point and curve. So first we need to provide a point. So this point I'm going to give and now we need to provide a curve. So this curve if I give, so exactly perpendicular to that particular curve, the point, you know, datum plane will be created so now we'll see the next option using two planes so two planes will be going to be uh, sorry two lines so two lines in the sense it will be uh, using these two lines it is able to create a particular datum plane so now if, if i select this and this you can see a plane will be created so instead of second line uh, this one suppose if i select this so it will be created based on our selection okay so in every options there will be an offset suppose from this one if you want in some offset so you can just give this offset okay so the next option will be tangent so tangent to any face say for example i will just make it as a single and for this face if you want a tangent you can see here this is completely tangent to this particular face so this way you can be able to use this option tangent so tangent to faces is very rarely used you don't use it much so anyway i'm just telling you okay through object in the sense uh, so whenever you select any object so through that object there will be a form datum plane that is created say for example i'm if i'm going to select this center line so the datum plane which is going through the selected object so it will be created you can see here okay so the next option will be point and direction so we need to specify a point here so for example if i specify this point okay so you can see here at this point uh, there will be a datum plane created and it is always you know normal to the whatever the curve you can see here this is the curve and it will be always normal to that particular curve suppose if you want to change any direction or anything you can just change it here so you can see here there will be three options so you can just change it and if you want you can use it in different way okay so the next one will be on curve so on curve we can just select the curve and at distance at what distance you need suppose if exactly at 50 percent if you need go to percentage of arc length and hit the value to 50 percent and you can see here this is the entire curve it has been taken at 50 percent exactly at 50 percent to the middle it has been created and also we have multiple options here so you can just go to here but the most commonly used is normal to path so this is going to be normal to the particular path okay and then we have so yz plane and xz plane and then xy plane so this is always uh, you know similar to this particular planes you can see here whatever the planes that are there so it is going to create along that plane okay okay so these are the three options we have so this is going to be a complete information about a datum plane so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer